Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're starting off the free to play again. I know I literally said it was going to be daily, but this time I'm for real. It'll be every one to two days. I think one day was too much. A lot of stuff came up, but anyways, we're back on the ground. We're back on it. Uh, we're trying to keep up as consistently as we can, especially uh, with a lot going on with World Finals and whatever. It's kind of hard to try and push this time aside, but I think I've got it now. So, uh, yeah, we've got some boxes to unlock. We'll quickly go through them and go through a couple of games just to get back on this grind. But also let me know if you want to see any other type of content on this channel. I know it's been a while since I kind of dived into that, but uh, just content right now is, uh, isn't the best. But we've got seven things in this mega box, so I'm going to guess... One of them is a gadget. Maybe this last one might be a brawler. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Okay, two gadgets. We can't really complain again about that. Uh, just getting gadgets alone is going to help us really. Um, Max and Alice account. I did grind enough to get the Ninja Ash finally. And I've seen someone in the comment section uh, on last episode saying that it's not free to play because I bought the Battle Pass. But that is literally because I grinded last season's Battle Pass as well. And you can get enough gems to actually unlock it. So I've not spent a single penny on this one. I never will. Obviously, that's going to defeat uh the point of this series so 500 power points i think i'm just gonna put this on like a low level brawler because that is a lot of power points i don't really want to max anyone out yet i might just put it on uh like frank or even ash yeah i think i might potentially put it on ash ash is really strong in this meta so i'm gonna put it on ash I'm gonna quickly level him up a little bit just at least to level seven just so i can get his uh gadget right there so that's a really good uh, upgrade right there and then last last loop pin pack and then we're getting onto the game so that is a really trash pin pack but we'll be getting to the game so without further ado let's jump straight into it all right guys so jumping off uh with this game then so i did actually get first pick i think and i picked it the whole team wanted me to go tick for some reason i haven't even got a gadget for him but at least i think low level ticks are at least okay as long as i keep my range i'm gonna be really squished though so i've got to be uh careful that one i know our teammate picked like penny straight away which was a bit confused about but uh we'll go ahead and try it out so i actually didn't realize until yesterday that the little marker uh below is actually the gadget so once uh all the gadgets have been used i believe that circle does disappear so if you guys didn't know about that one uh, but that is correct uh you can see obviously that's going to really matter for brothers like uh piper for example because her gadget literally confirms a kill nine times out of ten so uh, knowing they've got no gadgets left that can be really good helping you in those fights so we've got blue star here as always with dry season you want to get that lead and you don't really need to push up at all it's really hard to get the lead back on this map and it's really easy to keep it so of course when you've got the lead you just want to stay really defensive so penny's actually doing a really good job here she's already got her turret once does it get taken down by mr p unfortunately our pipe is able to get the kill on Stu. really well played from her i mean i'm going to try and take down it's Mr. P Porter, but I don't think we're going to have much success doing it. I think Piper is dead there, so she literally risked her life uh, to destroy that. So not really the best there. I mean, I'm not really going to be doing too much. As a level 6 tick, probably going to get carried by our teammates. But as long as I don't make any like major mistakes, I'm still going to be uh, at least doing something decent for the team. Flipan is able to shoot up down. Okay, we're only up by two stars but we have got that blue still pipe is going to go down again so a little bit too aggro from her i'm hoping penny doesn't overextend here because that lead is going to flip on its head uh <clears throat> so okay no not a single one of us can actually die here this is going to get intense nice double tap from piper i actually i've literally done nothing all i've done is just keep them away and just constantly throw other shots off so byron is going to kill that penny and i just knew something like that would go wrong of course it would okay nice kill from that piper that was really well played from her uh, she's able to pop off right there another kill that is three in a row for uh this piper called leon and he's absolutely carrying this hopefully he doesn't die here okay he gets he gets four in a row and he completely carries so after all of those deaths in a row he's able to pop off at the end so yeah bearing in mind uh what that penny just did you can kind of uh, just take uh advice off of what the enemies do on my team well what the my teammates do as well on my team and you see it's like 15 seconds left she's got blue star she's one that matters there's just no reason for her to even be that close up so and nearly cost us the game there that would have been a really bad error even after all the work she put in it doesn't really matter because if you throw it at the end all that hard work is going to go down the drain so this piper has just popped off it, that piper must have popped some g fuel or something because she is just absolutely cracked at the moment we've got to be careful of it Stu. Stu is using long dash as well so uh, he's going to capitalize on any kind of mistake we make i've got my head here let's try and use this against the stew i mean stew probably can get down with the help of piper you just need one shot nice piper on five so everything is lying on this piper if this piper dies we're actually in big trouble all right here. so we're just gonna 
try and get that this Byron. So he's probably coming up soon. So he's got long dash again, so we've got to be a little bit careful of this. Don't want to get caught off guard too early. Nice snap out of Piper. This Piper is cracked. I mean, it's literally gone from one extreme to the other, being <laughs> just dying a uh, hundred times to then just popping off. But the thing is, this Piper dies once, the lead is still going to be flipped on its head. So got to be a little bit careful. Stu, I think, has logged off the game, which you love to see. And my ticket's going to destroy that Mr. P. And that should be another kill right there. So this is looking a pretty plain sailing. I don't really want to kind of jinx myself just yet because I know how Power League goes even after not playing it for a long while. Uh, literally the worst things in the world can just happen within a flash because of your dumb randoms. But uh, we're getting cornered back here. Piper really, really low. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We're all cornered here. And this could eventually lead to them getting the lead here. So... Uh, got to try and be careful here. We need to at least get a kill. We're getting cornered. I'm dead. I mean, I got the... Well, Penny got the kill on Byron. Okay, there's two down. That's looking like a GG uh, right there. Unless literally all of us die, which again, can still happen. Eight seconds left. Let's try and hold off uh, for this victory right here. Four seconds. That's looking like a GG. So that's going to be the first game. Starting off with a dub right there. Let's see how much ELO we get with that one. That should be a uh, pretty decent ELO, I'm hoping. I mean, we're at Diamond 1. We still need to grind 23 games before the end of the season. Let's jump right into the next one. Alright, guys, so heading into the final game right here. So, just two games again, just to kind of get things off. But, uh, looks like the comps are really random. They picked the Dynamite and Primo. We picked a Mortis and a Crow. So, some weird combinations. Sony Soccer not actually had a chance to try this out in Power League. We'll see how this one goes. Normally, Sony Soccer in competitive is really, really uh, kind of stale because both teams just normally pick Spike because Spike is so strong on this map. So if you're looking for a solid pick, I feel like Spike would probably be the best one with that curveball. But already getting close to our super, I feel that quite easily. Unfortunately, my whole team's literally left me with a Primo and a Griff. But we've got our speed right here. We're giving that to Crow. And we've, we've literally nearly cycled another super right here. But we've got our gadget. We might be able to make a play here. Let's see uh, if we're able to do that. So Dynamite's going to consistently miss his shots to try and dash against the wall and score okay that was really really close i kind of messed up that dash a little bit if i was able to get it off properly that probably would have been a goal so all this mortis needs to do really is just follow around that dynamite the entire game and that dynamite should be able to move out of his spawn uh primo is going to get slowed here i'm just going to use my speed because i know i'm going to suck that quite quickly we're going to jump in does manage to dodge um that's uh stun at least and he should be able to walk that in okay i don't know how he's not scored there i don't know where the ball is i don't know what's even happening and somehow it's not in our hands let's try and squeeze uh this one in okay we're gonna heal up here we're gonna heal up we've got our speed we've got another dash as well so we can just pop this speed right here i think this should be a goal unless primo has chuck okay no dynamite did actually hit us unfortunately there primo's gonna pressure us a lot when he's put this ball into a better position Let's uh, use our dash. I'm hoping Moist. Okay, that was a really nice goal right there. I didn't think he was going to be able to have that. Uh, he was going to have the accuracy to put it in the corner there, but he's able to do it. So uh, I feel like, again, I said this. I think I said this in the last episode. Like everyone is maxed out, and I'm only at Diamond One. It's like, uh, is everyone just kind of getting uh, better? Is like the median just a little bit better in terms of uh, progression? Because when I used to grind uh, a couple of months ago, I swear everyone was like at the same level as me in terms of. Uh, like power level but everyone is just maxed out completely i haven't got a single maxed out brawler so maybe we might have to level a few of them up but uh okay going into the second round here i feel like this is going to be another plain sailing victory right here getting close to our super okay no i'd, I'd completely jinx that because now we've left the ball with the primo and he's going to be able to score so i uh, definitely need to start watching the ball more that is definitely a big tip in brawl ball i know it's kind of um you see a dynamite obviously has a mortis and you probably think yeah, I just need to go straight for him. But at the same time, you need to be wary of where your teammates are positioned. And if you can't uh, stop the ball uh, or if they're in trouble, you need to just make your way over there as soon as possible. So we're getting close to a super again. We're just going to use it on everyone. That should be the primo dead. We're going to be running for our lives here. Hopefully, we're able to get into a position to score. Got to pass this to the mortis. And that should be a goal. Nice. Okay, so a quick rebound right there. But primo has super. And we haven't really got too much to stop it. So got to be really careful of this respawn. Um... This is Primo's really going to do some damage to us. I mean, we're getting close to our super here. Okay, Crow hopefully has a slow. We should be able to stop this Primo. I actually get Primo the ball back there. That could have been really, really dangerous. So I'm going to use my dash here just to get more into this Dynamite's face. Let's keep trying to bait out these shots as we heal up. So one minute and 20 left. We're actually... I thought we were winning then, but just uh, remember in the beginning, um, 
it's still 1-1 so and over time as well we're going to have the much better composition we've got max and a crow so that's another thing i always bear in mind if uh, it's like drawing there's like a minute left you kind of got to assess both enemy co well both comps and just literally looking at it on paper it's easy to tell that we have a better overtime composition so that should be our goal uh, for the crow hopefully he's able to get that and he is able to do just that so yeah that's going to be it for today's video really short one but i hope you still enjoyed at least to give you guys some tips we're getting close to diamond 2 hopefully we can finish off a season at mythic uh, at least so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time